Hello and welcome to Workspace ONE 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Workspace ONE as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. This video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. Integration with Google and Apple devices on Workspace ONE UEM. This video will be in two parts. Part one will include integration with Google and part two will include integration with Apple. Integration with Google and Apple devices on Workspace ONE UEM is necessary if you want to enroll Android or macOS devices. Part one. Integration with Google. If you would like to enroll Android devices, you will need to complete this section. Don't worry, it's a simple procedure. Prerequisites. You will need a regular Google account or a G Suite account with administrative rights. From the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Groups and Settings, then click All Settings. Click Devices and Users, click Android, then click Android EMM Registration and click Register with Google. Please note, if you are already signed in with your Google credentials, you will be redirected to the Google Get Started page. If you are not already signed in, select Sign In and enter your Google credentials, then click Get Started. Enter your organization name, then press next one. Fill in all the required fields and then click to confirm. And finally click completes registration. You will then be redirected to the Workspace ONE console. Please click Test Connection to check that all settings have been configured successfully. Finally, click Save. Great! You have successfully integrated Workspace ONE UEM with Google. Now, we will continue to help you integrate Apple devices. This step is necessary if you wish to enroll iOS or macOS devices. There will be three steps in this process. Step 1. Configure Apple Push Notification Service, APNs, at the Workspace ONE UEM console. Step 2. Create a Apple APNS certificate and download it from the Apple Push Certificate portal. This will require you to have an Apple account ID. Step 3. Upload the certificate to the Workspace ONE UEM console. This is to integrate it successfully with Apple. The Apple Push Notification Service, APNS, is the messaging protocol created by Apple to manage mobile devices. Prerequisites A corporate Apple ID account. To create an Apple ID for business, a company owner must enroll the business in the Apple Business Manager program. To sign up for the Apple Business Manager, you must provide information such as your organization's name, the DUNS number, phone number, and your websites. To utilize the features of Apple Business Manager, make sure you have the following prerequisites in place. An Apple Business Manager account. If needed, enroll with Apple using the Apple Enrollment Procedure. Any Mac OS, iOS, or tvOS devices that you want to be managed through DEP service, you must have associated with the Apple Business Manager account. Devices purchased from a third party or reseller must be associated with your Apple Business Manager account. Devices using iOS 11 onwards, including tvOS 11, can be added to the Apple Business Manager using the Apple Configurator. When enrolling devices, you must have internet connectivity. When integrating with the Apple Business Manager portal, ensure that the network is set up to communicate with mdmenrollment.apple.com on port 443.
Now, let's configure the Apple push notification service. From the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Groups and Settings, then click All Settings. Click Devices and Users, then click Apple. Click APNS for MDM. We've done this before, so to allow us to demonstrate the process, we'll first clear the old certificates. Now, together, let's click Generate New Certificates. This is a certificate for the Apple Push Notification Service. Any management tool that wants to manage macOS or iOS needs to divert all their management traffic via Apple. Click MDM underscore APNS request dot plist, which will download a plist file. Please save it in a memorable place as we will be needing this later. Next, click Go to Apple. Here, we downloaded the certificate request. To download the certificate, please sign in with your corporate Apple ID. You cannot use a personal Apple ID. In our case, we're already logged in on another tab, so we're not asked to log in again. Click Create Certificates. Click Choose File. Then choose the MDM APNS request.plist file that we created earlier. Next, click Download. Great, you have successfully downloaded the certificates. Now, we will complete the certificate generation and upload it to Workspace ONE UEM. Go back to the Workspace ONE UEM console and tap Next. Click Upload. Click Choose File and choose the certificate we've just downloaded before hitting Save. Click the Apple ID you used to generate the Apple certificate, then click Save. Now, click Test Connection to check that everything has been configured successfully. If it has, click on Save. Well done! With that, we have successfully integrated Workspace ONE UEM with both Apple and Google. Now, we can manage both Android and Apple devices through Workspace ONE.